Zenyatta. She has a lot, a lot of ground to make up. Zenyatta, if she wins this, she'll be a super horse. She's starting to pick them off, though. Zenyatta going to hook to the outside. Meanwhile, it's Colonel John Summerbird in the red cap. And Zenyatta's come to the outside. Zenyatta coming, flying on the grandstand side. Gio Ponti on the inside. Summerbird is right there. This is unbelievable. Zenyatta, what a performance. One will never forget. Looked impossible. But it is Zenyatta still unbeaten under Mike Smith. Gio Ponti second, Summerbird, and then Richards Kid. What a dramatic performance. One of the most sensational ever. Zenyatta. It is an extreme honor to be standing here next to one of the best eyes in the business. This is a man whose resume has living, breathing champions on it. And one of those is this Amazon behind us, talking about Zenyatta and the man, David and Gordo. Hello. Hello. I'm going to have to live up to that uh, <laughs> opening. No, no, you definitely deserve it. One of the key points about the Zenyatta storyline, beyond just the fact, obviously, she's a first ballot Hall of Famer, and for good reason, we'll get into that in a minute. Um, you discovered her <clears throat> back in 2005 at the September yearling sale, and you had that ticket signed at just $60,000. She went on to win over $7.3 million. Um, when you reflect back on this relationship you've had with her over going back, she's going to be 20 next year. So almost 18 years of this relationship you've had with her since the first time you laid eyes on her, what runs through your mind? <clears throat> um, sometimes you'd rather be lucky than smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, you know, it's, we're one link in a very long chain that got Zenyatta here and the foal here. And, you know, I, I thought about this a little bit because when you called me, you know, it's like, what do you talk about that hasn't been said about yeah. a horse like this? But, you know, sometimes I think you get a horse and they ultimately, this is going to sound, you know, hocus pocus, mystic -y, But you get the horse and maybe the whole thing works because it's supposed to. Because I really don't believe she would have been the horse she was without, you know, sheriff's training her, Mike riding her, the mosses owning her. Um and, and getting broke at the Mayberries, the things, you know, Dottie probably gave John some pretty good mental coaching through it. You know, I think everything that happened happened for a reason. And, and you know, and all the people were really good stewards of this horse. So when you, when you think about the whole thing, <clears throat> yeah, we bought the horse, but then it, it was meant to be. And I'm not trying to sound, you know, Anybody knows me is like, yeah, David, right, okay. But <laughs> I really believe that. You know, I think, I'd say Zenyatta chose everybody on the team, but I think once we got her, everybody did their part and was at their best to do their part to make her what she was, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, when you take it back <clears throat> to that first day you laid eyes on her as a yearling, what were your first impressions of her? Why, why did you know that this was a horse – you wanted to buy you know so when you're buying horses for people it's like recruiting players for a team and john sheriffs is a guy that's done his best work with big horses the man of steaks prior now is in yeah so it fit what we're looking for two-turn horse she had an emerging pedigree um you know balance was just starting to come along so she had the physical qualities and and she wasn't a finished product you know we had a little vision of what she would become, you know, as far as her physical makeup. And and she fit what John likes to train, the mosses want to own. And then, you know, the rest of it is, again, history. <laughs> were you surprised that you were able to get her for the 60? I was shocked. Um, <laughs> I've met 20 underbidders on her since uh, then. But, you know, the, the man that bred her is funny because we stand in the back and it's kind of a habit we've developed <laughs> okay, what are we going to pay? We kind of have like the last minute game plan session. And I said, you know, you appraise them. So, okay, David, what do you think? Well, you know, 250. Oh, at least 250. Oh okay. Yeah, no problem. So we go and bid. And when we got her, um, I thought I bought the wrong horse because I'm like, there's no way. And the day before a hall of fame trainer had bought a horse for the wrong, wrong horse for a lot of money. Oh man. And I was like, man, if I do that, my life is over. So, 
I kind of ran over and saw her come, and her head is very distinct. Yes. Even as a yearling, the blaze and all that. When I saw it, I'm like, <laughs> and I was like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm just checking. I'm so excited, you know. Oh. Anyway, um, it wasn't the wrong <laughs> horse. It was the right <laughs> horse. And it was just one of those things. You know, again, I do this for a very long time. Yeah. I've been doing it a long time. I hope to be doing it a long time. I don't know that I'll ever get that surprised at what <laughs> I thought I should pay versus what we did pay. And uh, again, you know, it's just part of the, you know, when Hollywood comes calling, it's it, it's the truth, you know. So. Well, the right horse at the right time. She won 19 of 20 starts. She's on a very short list of horses to be multi-divisional champs at the Breeders' Cup. She's the only female to have ever won the Breeders' Cup Classic, and she's just a breath shy of being one of just two horses to have won the Classic twice. Hmm. I mean, just an amazing, amazing talent. In living so much of this in front of the camera, is there any moment in your mind that's just indelible that happened away from the camera, maybe back at the barn with her, some special memory you don't mind sharing with us? You know, I, I didn't get to see her as much as she's in training because I live in Kentucky and she ran a lot in California, obviously. But um, when she was younger and she was a two-year-old and I saw her at the farm, you know, all the reviews were, were raves about her. And, um, you know, so you're like, yeah, okay, you know, it's hard to live up to it. When you see them, you're like, wow, this is even better than what I was told. So I was looking at her one day at Mayberry uh, getting a bath, and I was like, man, this horse is really all right. And we decided then, you know, she could be two-year-old champion because she was big. Mm -hmm. We thought, like, at the time, half bridle had been running, right. you know, was the comp we used. So like, she could be, like, a half bridle. And um, we were right about the Breeders' Cup part. <laughs> we are right about a lot of it, but it just took a little more time. So that was one of my favorite things was seeing her on the farm at that stage. Because, you know, once they go to the track, it's the, on the trainers. And, you know, that's where John took over. And I think it's a crime. They haven't put him in the Hall of Fame yet. I'll go on record as saying that for just the work here. But his other body of work, this was a culmination of it. and uh, Masterful. Yeah. A diamond cutter, I think, Jay Pridman or somebody said. But, um, you know, so for me, it was seeing him there. Then I get to drive on the farm a lot. And uh, I'm not, anybody knows me knows I'm not super sentimental, but I do like to drive by and look at her a lot because for me and the whole family and everybody, it's been, you know, it's history. Yes. And when you're doing this, you know, how do I say it right? Um, everybody thinks their horse is faster than the other horse. And when you consistently 19 out of 20 times have the horse that was faster and the 20th time, I could arguably say she was, it was maybe her best race. Yes. And, yes. Um, you know, it was not away from the track, but that was pretty amazing to me what the reception she got losing. Yeah. So have you ever shared a beer with Zenyatta at Guinness? No, I haven't. Uh, she drinks them all. <laughs> she recently had this beautiful daughter of Warfront. Uh, her name, Nemoe, uh, means innovator of new beginnings. Have you seen the baby do the Spanish walk yet? <laughs> no, I think that was, uh, <laughs> I, I think that was a, a trait only mom had. That is a horseman who's just been in it forever david what was your what was your first thought when you saw zenyatta begin to do that toe out spanish um, walk you know what it's zenyatta and she'll do amazing <laughs> things and dancing just happens to be another one on the repertoire you know what happens going forward with mom and baby so she'll live with mom until um you know she gets kicked out of the house when we <laughs> wean her and then um she'll go in with some buddies and she'll grow up here till we send her down to the mayberries in ocala be you know, September of her, what is it, we're in 23, September 24. 
she'll go down and then start to part like that look right there we're yes. talking about there it is Ugh. that's mom so you know we'll have her at lane's in for another year or so and uh, get to enjoy her and be part of that process and then then off she goes to college what <laughs> do you see when you look at this filly you know um as we're getting ready for this you know i just like to look at horses and you start looking at them and i'm a big you know when you see the mare you see the foal and i've been blessed when i'm looking at a lot of horses i get to see this because of lane's end or the clients we deal with and i see a, a little mini me of zenyatta oh. and i would argue for whatever my opinion is worth that she's the most like zenyatta of all her foals and she's she's had some lovely foals that for one reason or another didn't you know work out or didn't make it or whatever but she is probably the most like her, in my opinion. If you look at her head or ears, the blaze isn't identical, but it's not too far off. No. And um, just her confirmation and the butt and the hind end and everything. So you know, maybe she saved her best for last.